Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to calculate how many days you've lived on Earth. So let me show you guys how this works. We've actually used what is known as uh, the date and time picker. So in here, all you need to do is to maybe select how old you are or when you were born the year. Let's say you were born at three. And the month, maybe let's select anything there. Today's date is 27th of May 2017. All you need to do is click on that and that calculate how many days you've officially lived and held. You can always res reset, exit, or carry out another calculation that you might that you may want. Okay, and just calculate that. So what I will do now is to take you guys straight into C Sharp Development Environment, and we put one of these together. So let's do that now. Now welcome to C Sharp Tutorial of how to calculate how many days you've lived. So we start by creating new project there we select c sharp windows forms application and let's give the name c let's just call it lived and click on ok ok now that the form is ready i'm just going to extend it that much i think that should do so the next thing we want to do now is let's come in here to tools and let's select the date picker date and time picker right there might as well just copy and paste that that's the first one and the second one that will be used for date and the other one will be used for date of birth now the next thing we need is we're going to need button one button right there and labels label here one there as my head in one here and one here then for the buttons you can always copy and right there so there we go now we're ready to do some work let's find out the width of that yeah let's make that the same here okay let's select it all and increase the font size come to maybe about 24 okay all right and this one is going to be date of birth this very one here and this is today's date So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to speed this up okay so what is left is where my output will be so I'm just going to copy this very one and right here let's go to the properties and just change this around in the first place let's give the name btn lived and let's come to auto size make that force border make that back color make the white and um, border style i'm gonna make that fix 3d let's extend it that much and just delete the content right in there and let's make sure that's okay that's fine all right so that is now ready everything is ready for us to okay we're ready to go ahead with the coding now and these ones need to be modified to 24 here okay so double click on exit and enter the following lines of codes let's declare that I exit 
so let's say I exit so that will prompt the user to confirm if they want to exit or not so confirm if you want to exit so comma I'll just call that I'm alive comma message box button dot yes no try that again comma message box button comma double click on it then dot yes or no comma message box icon dot let's go for information all right so any do that with semicolon and let's use an if statement if i exit equals dialog dialog result dot yes then we want the system to exit the system application dot exit there so that is the exit taken care of the next thing we want to do now is to come right in here let's double click on this first and declare the following variable let's say the time then we're going to call that dob okay comma and the next variable will be today's date okay or today that's fine then i'm going to also need an integer for the calculation let's say i'm just going to call it add date now let's get the names of these so the first one is known as copy that and go back in here so that will become today's date equals let's convert convert dot today date and time and enter that in there dot value and enter semicolon so dob or whatever content is in here is stored inside dob so the other one is today coming here the other variable today taking the other one And you just change this to two, and finally, this will become. We now need to subtract this from this. So to subtract that, we will have to enter today minus dob dot days. That's all the rest of it. We enter a full stop there. Then the next thing is we need the name of this very object. Let's get the objects is called LBL Alive. Come right down here. The text. So let's say equals have a let's look for string dot format. Zero, zero. Now come in here. Let's say comma. That will be add date, and that is all the rules to it. You can always try this out before we continue. Let's let's see what's gonna what's gonna happen. 
okay that's the system what we need to do now is to change that date let's go for that and we then just need to yeah that's fine it's working how we want supposing we change this let's change the the month and see what's gonna happen right there guys so we need to take care of the reset the exit works anyway so in case of the reset i would just like it to default back to today's date anyway so let's come down here okay let's go for lbl live dot text it was clear and the other one that is for the date so let's copy this other one paste that in there just change this around so what will happen is this will set the date to today's date so have a good look at the lines of codes that is for reset and this is for exit and right here that is those are the lines of code that carry that carries out the calculation of the date of death so if we run it now let's say we've, maybe you might let's say you were born 1965 and let's go for what month February 16 and day that's how many days old you are Date days lived so guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it so you all have a nice day now and bye for now